Aqua Soul Family. What it do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress777, here today with a general love message for my Aqua Gang Gang Gang. Hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please give us clear, concise messages for our gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. These messages are, of course, general. Take what resonates, leave the rest for whoever the fuck is for. That's how they go, okay? If you're new here, welcome. You heard what I said, <laughs> okay? Click that like button and the subscribe button, okay? It just helps people find us on the platform because that's how YouTube likes to do things, apparently, okay? So, it's free. Click the like button, leave me a comment, let me know you up and here okay now we're not starting with this deck got it that's what they just told me they're like you too excited girl you need to calm down <sighs> guys it's something about the people showing up in the reads today I, I cleanse the energy meditate everything and it's still this very similar energy to what I got for Pisces. Some, for some of you, you may be dealing with a Pisces and not all of you. It's just, it's similar. These are the type of energies that's showing up today. Ironically, on the same day, it's just, it's weird. Um, it's the notion of someone feeling like they're in, they're, they're in power, you know? Even more so than whoever it is you're praying to over there. That's what I heard. Like, what? Who is this? They do know that you are spiritual, for sure. Enlightened, um, gone through some form of ascension, okay? You meditate, you want your shit. So they still feel like they're more powerful than whatever that is you're doing over there, okay? <laughs> In reference to your spirituality, of course. This is somebody who feels like they have the authority to make the decisions, okay? Um, In reference to when the two of you are done. It's giving cray cray. It's giving crazy. <laughs> See? Yeah, like, final stretch, okay? Like it's not already over and shit. Am I wrong? Is it over or not, y'all? I wanna know, I wanna know. Tell me in the comments, because for some of you, you may still be engaging with this person. Even if you have one conversation with this individual, even if you just reply to their text with one word in their mind, ha, ah, gotcha, gotcha. You could just be like, okay. And that's it. And they're just like, we're working on this thing. That's what I call action. I'm, I'm in control of this. So this is somebody who does. Now listen, in their mind, this is the last opportunity. Okay. This is the last stretch. The final stretch. They're trying to bring it on home. It's something about the connection between the two of you that is not allowing them to release this, you guys. Okay. So even though you're telling them that it's over in their mind, you don't make that decision. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who is this crazy ass fool up in here? Who is this? Did you make them crazy? Because I heard you make me crazy. See, we have marriage in the reverse. For some of you, you may have been married to this person or there was some form of contract, whether spiritual or actual physical contract that has been broken. It has been breached. It's right here. It's in writing. But let this person tell it. You guys are working on this. This is something that is being worked on and they are going to uh, proceed to take action towards this. They're saving this. Oh, God. So don't be surprised if you start getting phone calls, text messages, okay? Communication just out of the blue for some of you, okay? And for others, it's gonna get a little bit more intense. This person is definitely going to be speaking more the language of commitment and exclusivity and being together and a path forward and you know, all of that. And it might confuse you, but I'm telling you that, that this is why it's happening, okay? Wow. For some of you, they may have been married. Okay, that's a very small portion of you. Don't don't beat me up. They may have been married and now they're divorced, okay? And this is also possibly why they feel like there's a chance. Only take that if it resonates. Either married, in a relationship, right? Separated, they finalized a connection. Um, if that's your portion of the story, they finalized it and now they're ready. Yeah, because they were choosing between two. Oh my God. You were a choice, and now in their mind, they're making the final choice. Whether you feel like it's done or not, that's not what's going on in this person's mind. So they will be taking action, okay? 
<laughs> wow. Yep. Yeah. Making an announcement. Okay. Marching straight towards you. Do not pass go. Oh, boy. <laughs> what do y'all be doing to these people? Y'all be driving these people fucking crazy. Cray, cray. People be needing to go to a lot even. They need to see a psychiatrist. They don't even be coming towards you. <laughs> you know, I don't make light of that, y'all. I don't. I'm just saying. It, it's just something about the connection between the two of you or the way things ended there's something in their mind now it could just be because like i said they're not they don't have a mind the brain is not there they're brainless they need to be off to see the wizard instead of off coming towards you right like for some of you but for others there's something about this connection this relationship that made them believe that once they tied up these loose ends made these necessary changes that they could come back to you, warn you so confidently. And this is exactly what they're doing. Now, everybody is not just saying fuck off with their person, right? So I have to be fair and read it from every angle, but I get the idea that for some of you, you've actually moved on. You haven't been waiting for this, even though that's what's in their mind, that you've been waiting. <laughs> and now they're like, dun, 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 I'm back. You know? They're going to want a parade, an announcement. They're looking for a warm welcome. Are they confused? Are they confused? Aqua, did you tell them that you were dating someone else? Because this could most certainly be some for some of you. Right? Like I said, just take it how it resonates. Hello? This could most certainly be some of you who are now involved, okay? For some of you, you may even be taken, you know, like in a committed relationship. Well, see, their lack of ability to do this is most certainly what's getting them in hot water here, okay? Because they are coming towards you very confidently as if they know that they know that they know that they're about to lock this down. But the two of you are working towards something stable, right? And they didn't choose you in the past, okay? Whether there was another person or not, it could have just been something else that they were focused on. That marriage card in the reverse is coming up as a lot of different scenarios, okay? So just take it how it resonates. There's a commitment that was denied. For some of you, they may have rejected your advances to be together, to be exclusive. Um, in their mind, they don't feel like that was wrong. <laughs> so. So. Boy. So you're their first class ticket to the dark night of the soul. Okay? Please don't. This is not going to go over well. Okay? I'm just going to tell, tell you. This is not going to go over well. If you thought you were dealing with a drama queen before, you just wait until they find out you got another beach. You got another dude. They about to cause, they about to wreak havoc. Now, keep in mind, tarot is fluid, right? So don't be like, oh, but I don't, I'm not with anybody yet. Who, you don't know who you about to be with in the future? This could be predictive of the future. This could be something that you are currently getting ready to experience. Ciao. Now, what I will say, because we do have the lovers, so old and new are both showing up here. You're a new person? They're not standing for it. So this might be with the drama. It might be a whole fight out this bitch. Okay? So you better tell this person from the past <laughs> to be very careful. Mm -mm -mm. So this is a story that they're telling themselves, you guys, that they're in love, that the two of you are in love. You're destined to be together. They were just getting themselves together. Okay? The famous Jay-Z lyric, I was just fucking them girls. I was going to get right back. <laughs> you know, I was just I was just doing my own thing. I was always going to get it together. You were supposed to be here waiting for me. Wow. And then they come back and you up under a whole nother beat. Up under a whole nother dude. Married. Engaged. You know? Might have a kid or two. It feels like a serious relationship. And now here they come talking about I'm back. I, I'm fixed. Can we do, can we try this again? Okay. Boy, did this person not expect this to be the outcome? And that is the karma. 
okay? People always want what they can't have. And the way they devalued the situation that the two of you had going on, okay? I mean, endless amounts of betrayal. It's like the nerve of them to come back with all of this arrogance, but it's something about that connection that made them feel like you would wait for them forever. Like that your loyalty was just everlasting. Oh boy, that could just be the effect of an Aquarius though, right? I'm, I'm an Aquarius too, so I know how it goes, right? Like when we fall in love, that shit is, woo, baby, that's the purest shit ever because we don't fall in love often. I mean, we, all of us here, by the raise of hand, you could probably count on one hand how many people you actually been in love with, okay? And there ain't enough hands in the world to count how many people who have been in love with you that you didn't have no feelings for. You see, that's how that goes. That's definitely an Aquarius thing, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is someone that you poured into. This is someone who rejected your offer, okay? Either actually or through action, right? Through their words, through their action. They may not have actually said it, but their actions most certainly said it. And you moved on. <sighs> Boy, they're not going to be able to take that, baby. They're going to be outside your window. They're going to be, okay, pulling up. And this new person, like I said, they are this new person that you are either dealing with now or getting ready to deal with, they don't play that shit, okay? Yeah, so we have the hermit. This is someone who has been gone for some time or they will be. They're going to make a return, you guys, okay? <sighs> they only have this very, very small light as they venture back towards you. So they are in complete darkness. They know nothing about you anymore. You're not even the same person. They know nothing about you, your situation or nothing. They about to know, though. <laughs> oh, they's about to know. They are about to know, baby. Okay, in the meantime, in between time, you've been actually cultivating a connection and a relationship with your wish fulfillment. This is what you currently have. If this is your story, this is what you would have. This person is coming back once you've already committed to like your divine counterpart, like your, your person. So it's a no brainer and it's a no for me, dog. That's like what I hear you saying. <sighs> but they're gonna test you, okay? This person is not gonna take no for an answer. And this might be where your new person comes in. Now this new person don't play about you, okay? They ready to throw these hands for you, I'm just saying, okay? I just see somebody, you know, in a stance. Ready to give a, a quick one-two, you know? Quick one-two. I heard somebody gonna catch a fade. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo, baby. Person do not play about you, y'all. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. This is not your sword. This is the sword of the new person. And th this definitely gives me somebody is gonna be fighting. Okay, I just have to be very honest. Yeah, they do not know you. You are in an entirely new cycle. After the death, nothing is ever the same. But that just gives me even more reason to believe that this person is back even though they didn't change. You see what I'm saying? Because whoever they were dealing with after the two of you were over has definitely sent them on a journey, baby. Okay, that roller coaster was swift, fast, steep, and deadly. They've been fighting for their life ever since. And now here they are. Oh, we're soulmates. I love you. I need to be with you. But when they return, they're not even, they don't know you. After the death, nothing is, is ever the same. Okay, this is why that Ace of Swords will come down so hard on them, you guys. Oh, boy. I'm just scared. I'm scared, y'all. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm scared for them. Because you're not dealing with your average Joe Smo. You're not dealing with um, this divine counterpart of yours or whoever this is that you're gonna be encountering, whoever this person is that you're gonna be in relationship with. This might be a, rec a reformed thug. <laughs> A reformed thug Alina. This person, is, okay, they, not, they don't play. They ready to pop the trunk or some shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Because you may have even told this person or you will tell this person about this connection. This is the connection that has sent you through the dark night of the soul. It transformed you. So you were never going to be the same after this connection. But you can't make up this timeline with this person returning once you've already gained wish fulfillment. Wait, wait for you. What the f wait for what? That's exactly what they were expecting, though, guys. They were ex <laughs> You cannot make this shit up. This is where they expected you to be. It's the three of wands, guys, okay? How many of my tarot heads are in the building? If you know tarot, then you know three of wands means what? Waiting. Waiting on your ships to come in, okay? Waiting on them to return. Waiting on them to choose you. Waiting on them to commit. Waiting on them to love you. Waiting on them to propose. Waiting on exclusivity. Waiting on effort. Waiting on an investment. Waiting on, just waiting. They are back with an actual offer, okay? Now they've got the Ace of Pentacles. But they've already given their whole, in all their energy to all the streets. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like the last resort. This person was like wanting to play the field, be player, player, player. You know what I'm saying? You know, throw that D everywhere, pop that pum pum on every D they could find. Play the field. And you know that you were supposed to be waiting back home for them to, you know, return. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. This is not funny. I'm not laughing. This is not funny. Because your person is serious. Serious, baby. Four of Wands. It is your divine counterpart. This is your person. You will be with them either very, very soon. My messages are predictive of the future for the near future. Could be a water sign for some of you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or they may have that somewhere within their sign, or a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo, your person. Look at the seriousness <laughs> on this face. That turns to anger really quickly, okay? King of Wands does keep his wits about him. Gender doesn't matter. King of Wands energy, definitely mature emotionally. But don't ever question how far away the Glock is. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever question if they'll pop the trunk because they have that in them. Baby. <sighs> Baby. Okay. 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 I cannot. I can't deal. I cannot deal. And I'm going over to the extended. Okay. I definitely want to see what this individual from the past, what their purest feelings for you are. Let's see if they're legit because I, they're, they're already, um, deep within a karmic cycle it's only going to get more destructive for them as they approach you um and your husband <laughs> and your wife right like and your girl or your your boyfriend you will be in a relationship when this person returns okay that's just that on that um yeah so i also want to see if there are any regrets i have a good idea that there will be oh 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 oh, oh. they're gonna realize everything they regret at that point in time um this is almost like the ultimate slap in the face because what they return to is not what they will be expecting to return to okay you were supposed to be indebted and always loyal even if they was going to lay it low and spread it wide to the community i also want to see what changes have they made i just want to know and now I, I just want to know, this doesn't look like it's turning into anything, guys. Okay. I'm very interested to see what this new relationship really entails and how soon this is going to happen. That will be a portion of your new love message for sure. Um, let's also see what this person from the past, what their next steps are going to be in, um, and their intentions for those next steps. That's going to help you prepare yourself. Okay. Um, and then we will look at the potential outcome. We will look at both. I don't get you re-engaging with this person because you're already committed by the time they come back, but I'll still look at both potential outcomes if you re-engage or if you go in the opposite direction direction let's also see how spirit suggests you start uh removing um blockages in order to make way towards your divine counterpart quicker <laughs> okay put some more pep in that step okay then we will get right into new love that's a great segue okay i want to see what is this beautiful new energy that's showing up they definitely made their presence known 
immediately. They wasn't waiting until he extended. They're already here, but we'll get some details in reference to what this person is like, okay? How will you meet them? I also wanna see how do they look, you know? Are, are the two of you attracted to one another? Um, what is the most attractive thing about this individual and what will they find most attractive about you? Um, let's also see why they are single at the time that you are meeting them and the potential for union and what the time frame is for that to be happening, okay? We will lastly get your focus advice um, in reference to speeding up momentum towards this outcome um, and towards your true fulfillment fulfillment and divine happiness in the least amount of time okay lastly we will of course this has become a bit of a um <laughs> a new additive right to our reads we will definitely have an ask the universe read give you guys the floor to ask a couple questions but i will have more instructions over in the extended okay so let's hop on over there oh i do want you know i don't have this um i didn't mention this but i do want to see what the chemistry will be like between you and this divine counterpart in and out of the bedroom because i'm nosy and, and i want to know you know y'all not gonna tell me you like girl shut up <laughs> I want to know. Okay, so press click that like button. All right, as well as the subscribe button. And we got a lot to unpack. I'm gonna cut up over there, y'all. I'm gonna put it down in the description box. All right, and I'll see y'all over in the extended.